Hey guys, we've talked a little bit about um, the beat and the rhythm, and now we're going to look at the specific symbols we use in order to communicate about the rhythm in a piece of music. There are two types of symbols. The first type is for when a musician plays or sings, and that would be um, a note. And then the other symbol is when a musician will not be playing or where there'll be silence, silence. And those are what we call rests. It's important for you to get familiar with these symbols so that you can identify them and know what they mean. In the final column on our table, we have something that here um, is labeled as value. Um, value also means how long something is. We refer to it in music as the duration, how long something lasts. It's important for you to know that none of these notes and rests have any numerical value unless they are put within a specific framework. And that framework is set up by another symbol called the time signature. We're going to assume for this table and the one in your music theory book that we're going to be doing everything in 4-4 four, four time. So the first note we have is named a whole note. It looks like a clear open note head, a little bit like a donut. And its rest is a small block that sits underneath the fourth line from the bottom on the staff. It lasts for the whole time. And in 4-4 four, four time, that's four beats or four counts. Now the rest of these names refer to uh, the relative value of the notes as they compare to each other. So the next note that we have is a half note. And the half note, seen right here is um, it, it has a not colored in note head and a stem. A half note is worth half the value of a whole note. And so if I have a whole note here, I can factor like we would in math and draw the value of two half notes within that one whole note. Whole notes are worth four, half notes are worth two. If you take a look at the half rest, it looks like um, a small brick or rectangle that sits on top of the third line of the staff. What's great about a whole rest, if you were walking on the line, it looks like you could fall right into the hole that is there. And the half rest looks like it could be a hat. Lots of kids get those confused, so make sure that you know the difference between whole and half. The next note, if I were to continue factoring on my factor tree, each half note can be divided into two quarter notes. Now, half notes look like donuts on sticks, and quarter notes look like jelly-filled donuts on sticks. The note head's covered in, and there are stems um, just like there would be with a half note. A quarter note is one quarter note is a quarter of the value of the whole note. That's where it gets its name. And so in 4-4 four, four time, the whole note's worth four counts. The quarter note is then worth one. The quarter rests are really weird. They look a little bit like the letter Z and a C that have been squished together. Z, C. So that makes them easier to draw. We're only going to be talking about the next level down and save the other notes for later. It, you need to understand that these are things that are mathematically derived. And so you can see that that's there. Eighth rests have a colored in note head, a stem and a flag, and the rest looks like a seven with a zit on its nose. I'm not gonna draw them all in on the factor tree, but one eighth note and eighth rest is half the value of a quarter note. Hopefully this helps you to figure out how to fill out your theory. Thanks.